Hey y'all, Jay's Creations Are Sanity here. So today I'm working on some tombstones for our Halloween decorations. So as you can see here, this is a four by four uh, piece of, M or not MDF, um, piece of plywood that's half inch thick. And I've kind of got some marked out that I'm going to cut out here. So I've got two of these boards. I've got five on here and then probably not going to be able to see. I've got this one here and I've got five marked out on this board too. Then I'm going, come on focus. Well, I've got a variety of different spray paint here that um, I don't know if I'll use them all but these are the colors I've picked out and we'll just see what happens so right now I'm going to get um, all of them cut out here and then we'll go from there so we'll be back Okay, y'all, I got everything cut out. This is what it's looking like so far. I also went ahead and routed some of them out. Um, I did, I routed around the edge of all of them and then like that cross and the rest in peace. I routed all those out. So now I think I'm going to, let me see that. Can you see that? I think I'm going to burn, this is a scrap piece of wood. Um, so I think I'm gonna burn it to give it that aged look. Um, so yeah, let me get it set up for that and then I'll be back. Okay, here's what we're doing. My husband's helping me out. He's just using the heat gun to go back and forth over the wood, over our tombstones, to give it that kind of aged look. So, after this, I'm, I have no idea what I'm going to do with these because I wasn't even planning on doing this step. So, <laughs> um, we're going to continue doing this. We'll probably do this with all of them. And so, yeah, we'll continue doing that and then we'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, we've only burned a few of them. Um, the rest I'm going to paint. I'm just not sure how yet. So I've actually started one right here. Um, just still not, I've, uh, this has just got a coat of white on it. Um, Really not sure what I'm going to do yet, but in the beginning I showed you all those different colors I had set out. Um, so I'm going to start with those. I'm going to see how it goes and see what I can come up with. I will try to get as much as I can on video. So yeah, let's just see what happens.
Hey y'all, so as I'm getting these tombstones done, my husband is out here helping me again and he's going to start putting a clear coat spray on them to seal them in. So that's what he's doing as I'm getting those done. Okay, you guys, this is what we've got so far. Hopefully, the wind isn't too bad in this. Um, so, they are about done. Um, I thought I'd go through a little recap real quick. Uh, I started with 4x4 four four, uh, plywood half inch thick and it was four by four they come in eight foot sheets but my truck is out of commission so i had to use the car so that's i just had home depot cut the board in half so i could fit it in the car then i drew out the shapes that i wanted and cut those out um then I routed out, you can see like around the edges here, that's routed out and then the, the um, letters and I think that's O and this cross on this one, that's all routed out. Um, none of them are sanded, they're all rough. Uh, Let's see, then 
I used a combination of things for the sayings on all of them. Um, I used acrylic paint. I used my um, acrylic painter's pens. I also used some, oh my goodness, I think it's um, oil-based pens. Um, some Sharpies. Just what I had on hand that I thought would look good on these. Um, oh, actually, before all of that, on some of these darker ones here, I think there's there's one, two, three, four, and then that one down there at the skull. We, um, what did we do? We burned those with the heat gun. So that was after we cut them all out and I routed them. Um, then we burned those four. So, yeah, the, the two rest in peace. So that one and then that one there. And this cross, I used um, that glow in the dark spray paint. And I sprayed that in a cup and then just poured it in there. So, yeah. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area while doing all this. I also used um, a combination of different spray paints, blacks, grays, whites, um, for the background of all those. And then, after that... Um, used, and actually this one here, this crystal ball one, that's not on camera. Well, I had to redo the background. I messed up on it, and so I painted the whole thing white again and then redid that background. Um, then once all the sayings and everything were on there, to seal those in, we used, well, actually, actually three different things um it was a flat gloss finish um semi gloss and then a gloss finish and that's just because that's what i had on hand didn't have enough of just one so yeah just used what i had okay so i think that's all like up to date now um what i have left to do is i'm going to oh just a minute Okay, I'm going to use these stakes, these like garden stakes, and I'm going to attach those to the back so that I can stick them into the ground. These are now, the only reason that these are painted green is because I've used these for uh, Christmas decorations. So, yeah, they've been used for several different things. First the garden, and then I switch that up and use these for Christmas decorations and then I switched that up a year or two ago so now I'm just using them and I'm going to stick them on the back and use them for the Halloween decorations now. So that's what I'm going to get set up to do now so I'll be back. Okay so my hubby's out here helping me again and hopefully you he can hear me over the drill but as you can see we've got two legs set up for this one he is pre-drilling the holes for the screws. We're using, um, what are we using? One and a quarter inch screws. He needs screws, guys. <laughs> Sorry, kids are out here trying to help too. are a bit too long so now he's going to shave off the tip.
using his Dremel to do that. Okay, so there's... I think this is like the third one we've done. So we're going to finish up and then we'll be back. Okay, hey y'all, so here are our tombstones. Don't look at my flower bed back there, it's a mess. Um, so happy with how these turned out, they're so cool. Now, the glow in the dark stuff I did, like the cross and the, the rest in peace ones, they really don't glow in the dark because we are on a corner and there's a street light and it's just too bright, so. That's kind of a bummer, but they are super cool, I think. Love how they turned out. And so, yeah, that's it for this one. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And so here at the end, I will have pictures of what they look like at night. So, yeah, till next time. Bye, everyone.